So I try not to pressure myself into filming really this last week. I just tried to document my process of unpacking and everything and since it's been a week I I want to capture just me being here and arriving and still kind of working hard to <laughs> take it in and to enjoy where I'm arriving at you know to believe that I deserve to be here you know it's it's still an ongoing process of believing and learning to believe that and yeah it's, it's a beautiful process um but i think what i wanted to talk about still and um mention in relation to this move is that I've been wanting to move out for a very long time, like for years. And I've had very, I've had a lot of moments of feeling really hopeless about it and feeling like that was never going to happen um, because I was just focused on a lot of things that were sort of in my mind, standing in my way. And so if I look at my journal, like I remember the amount of times I wrote that I'm suffocating in my situation and to now be here months later to have kept on like believing that this is possible and believing in in this dream <laughs> like keeping on visualizing it and telling everyone that I'm moving out this April a year ago you know I'm really proud of that of keeping on believing and <clears throat> now I'm here so I've just been ranting about all of this, <laughs> this whole experience right now. But I just remembered that I actually just wanted to give y'all some like current status updates on my apartment and move. I am so happy with this carpet that I got. It's like inspired by sun gardens and I feel like it's a nice organic shape and neutral tone and nice texture for the room. Uh, then I have these. I don't know what these are called in English, but I do have a thingy. I just unpacked my crystal. So I have one here, which I don't know if I want to keep them on the ground. It's a little scary if you don't see them and step on them. So yeah, but this is my little sun garden, which is so cute. Um, my dining table over here, which this is still a work in progress, is currently a little bit of a dumping ground because I'm just working on a lot of little projects like all around. So this is the bigger, so basically I have two bedrooms and this is the bigger room and <laughs> I'm just so excited to dedicate such a beautiful room to my work. Um, which I do spend a lot of time in my office and so just having this space to create and be my office and turn into a beautiful office is um, a fun journey <laughs> which right now is definitely a work in progress so this is my office uh, a fun project <laughs> this is my bedroom and Finally, here behind me today, <laughs> I organized my clothes after a week. Um, it's been a little bit messy to dig up clothes from boxes, but also a majority of my clothes are actually hung up in like the closet, in the jacket closet or the coat closet. And I would say that's pretty much it for my bedroom. We have just a couple more upgrades which I'll be talking about when we get there. <laughs> As y'all can see, I'm still totally in the process of organizing my office, my belongings. And one thing I seriously need to get back to is unpacking my books because currently they are still in a box. 
So out of excitement of getting back into learning, I've been creating a new reading list of nonfiction books. And y'all, I genuinely love getting the most out of the books I read. You may have seen some of the books I read. They are full of sticky tabs and notes. I just love that whole process. But a resource that helps me achieve this goal even further is Shortform. Essentially, Shortform is a platform that offers these book guides to nonfiction books. They summarize and contextualize the best ideas in the world and bring them to you in their guides. When I'm creating a new reading list, I enjoy discovering new books on Short Farm because I get to check out the key ideas and follow my curiosities about books that I might read, which helps me make decisions about which books I want to read. And even for the books that I've already read, short form allows me to go back to refresh my insights and further my understanding of the main idea since they build connections between ideas of different books and authors, create context between the ideas and the world. So if you're interested to get a free trial of unlimited access and an additional 20% discount on the annual subscription, join Shortform through my special link, which is shortform.com slash Yusuf or click the link in the description. Thank you to Shortform and have fun exploring books and reading up on them. I am having so much fun over there. Moving to a new place during the springtime feels so right because as nature awakens and blooms you get to witness this huge transition in the seasons if you experience the seasons where you're at while you're transitioning your life and it, it just feels so right when i saw these cherry blossoms the other day i didn't bring a camera but i really wanted to capture it so on this evening, I'm happy to have taken you here. Since moving, I'm still flowing into a new evening routine and a night routine and still like <laughs> arriving. And so this right here is me having the intention to go to bed early or like earlier and cultivate my before bedtime. That's my dishwasher. Uh, since it's around 8 and I want to get up around 6 um, I'm just going to be literally showering and brushing my teeth my skincare routine and then just preparing like my gym bag it's just little things so that my morning is smooth that's pretty much it it would be really nice to like have a bedtime routine where I'm like in bed early and I can just journal and read. Oh, that just sounds amazing and be tired. So that's my vision. <laughs> I got my journal and I also got a book. And I don't know what time it is. I think it's like 8.45. So I'll see you tomorrow. I managed to get up before seven, okay? It's not about that, honestly. It's really not about the time we get up. It's about that we get enough sleep and we feel good in the morning. So that's where we are at. Back 
from my walk with bourbon. And now I'm gonna head to the gym. So today I'm doing leg day slash glutes. Um, and since I'm still like getting back into it, <laughs> I'm probably going to do like three different exercises after warming up. And that's gonna be it, just to be efficient and not overwhelm myself. So let's go. So walking home was definitely an extension of the workout. My legs are definitely dead, but I think it was also my backpack because with the camera it's kind of heavy, uh, but I guess it was a good workout, intense, that was like about an hour. So now it's 9, I'm really proud that I went. I wish I had enough energy to shower right now, but I don't, so I'm first gonna eat breakfast and then shower, so <laughs> let's go! Wait. 